Hadley, what are we gonna draw today? An Easter surprise. Yeah, and we are excited because it's gonna turn out super cute. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. It's gonna be this big fluffy chicken that can Fluff. barely even fit into the egg. Now also be sure to stay till the very end because we're gonna give you a challenge. Now what do we need for this art lesson? A marker, some paper, and something to color with. All right, you ready to start? Yes. We'll first take the top edge and fold it down to the bottom edge. I like, always like lining it up first, going down the middle, and then folding out to the edges. I always the get corners. stuck on this. It's okay. Lining it up is the trickiest part, and once you have it lined up, then you can put your fingers right here, hold it, Right down the middle. Whee! Yeah. And go whee! Out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we're gonna take this top flap and fold it back up to the top or well to the middle. And fold it. Well, wait. Yeah, that's okay. I can help. I like helping you. <laughs> there you go. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take this flap, fold it up to the top. And then right down the middle, out to the edges. Now this last fold is actually just a guide fold so that we know where to draw and where not to draw. So we're gonna take that last fold and unfold it. And then we're gonna flip it back over to this side. Now if we ever go too fast, you can always- Pause the video. Yeah, pause the video. Now we're gonna use another sheet of paper. This is just a scratch piece of paper that we're gonna use to protect our table from our black markers. Now you can use any paper you want. We're just gonna use red so it's easier to see our drawing. Okay, so first step we're gonna draw is the grass down here at the bottom of our drawing, our paper, and we're gonna draw a zigzag line. Some of the zigzags can be small and some can be big so that our grass looks natural and cool. Oh, you're making really cool grass. Good, now let's draw the egg. A little extra grass there on the side. Good job. <laughs> Next, we're gonna draw the egg sitting in the grass. And we're gonna draw half of the egg above the fold and the rest of the egg below the fold. So let's first draw the top half. We're gonna draw an upside down U above the fold. Yeah. Then we're gonna complete the egg. We're gonna draw the egg coming down and connecting to the grass on both sides. All right, now we need to decorate our eggs. You guys at home can decorate your eggs any way you want. This part we're gonna fast forward. Yes. Your egg looks really cute. You did a good job and I love that our eggs look different. Okay, Hadley, next we're ready to unfold our folding surprise. And now we can draw the inside. So first, let's draw the bottom of the top shell, or the top half. And then let's draw the top of the bottom half. All right, now we're gonna draw a big- Chicky. Little baby chick, yeah. So up here, let's draw little zigzags coming out on both sides. We're gonna draw the rest of his head. So we're gonna draw a big curve that comes down around. We're gonna make it look like the Chubby chicken. Chicky. Yeah, like the chicken. Oh, 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 I got an extra, <laughs> extra size chick over there. And we're gonna try to make our chicken look like it doesn't fit inside this egg. That's what's gonna make it look funny. Now we're ready to draw the chicken's face. I'm gonna draw an oval over here and an oval over here. And I'm drawing really big. This is gonna be the outside of our chicken's eyes. Then inside of this one on the left side, let's draw another oval that's touching. Look at that, see how I drew it touching the inside? Yeah, and then let's do the same thing over here, but... Cross-eyed. Yeah, so our chicken looks cross-eyed. It's gonna make him look even cuter. Okay, now up here, let's draw a small circle at the top of his pupil on each side. Oh, and eyelashes. Now we're ready to color in the pupil. We're gonna color in the big shape but leave the little one white. That's the highlight so his eyes look shiny. Now we're gonna add one more detail to the eye and that is the iris or the colored part. So we're gonna draw another, it, it looks like the letter C. So we're only drawing part of it and we're going around the pupil and this one's gonna be a backward C. What is our chicken missing on its face? The beak. The beak, okay, let's draw a V shape. I kinda curved it at the bottom. 
Then we're gonna draw the top of the beak. We're gonna draw a curve that connects the top. Looks like an upside down triangle. Then let's draw little nostrils, two little ovals at the top. You can color them in too. Yeah, there you go. Oh, those are huge. That's okay. <laughs> then we can draw the mouth. I'm gonna draw another curved V inside. Oh, that is one cute chicken. Now we're ready to draw our chicken's body. We're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down. And before we get to the egg, we're gonna leave a little space and then we can draw another zigzag that goes into the egg. And then let's do the same thing over on this side. Big curve, leave a little space and then zigzag into the egg. All right, let's draw the wings next. And we're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down. And then we're gonna draw a little zigzag back up, another zigzag down, back up, back down, <laughs> and then curve. There's his wing. Let's repeat that same step on the other side. We're gonna draw a big curve down, and then let's do the letter M. So one, two bumps, and then another curve to finish. The last thing we can add to our little chicken are the feet. Let's draw two little bumps over here on the left, and two little bumps over here on the right. All right, Hallie, we did it. We finished drawing our Easter egg surprise. Yours is my favorite. Except we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color. Yeah, we need to color our chickens. They're gonna look so much better colored in. Now this part, we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We did it, we finished coloring our drawings. You ready to show our friends? Yes. One, two, three, happy, happy Easter. Easter! I love how big our chickens are. They don't look like they can fit in that egg. Yeah. <laughs> and yours is my favorite, especially that extra chubby cheek over there on the right. Oh, 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 look at my extra chubby cheek. <laughs> now what time is it? Challenge time. Yeah, we want to challenge you guys to finish your drawings by adding more Easter decorations in the folding surprise. That's, that's the area that's hidden when it's folded up. Then when you open it up, you can see all the extra decorations. We, you could add more chickens, more eggs. What else could you add? Bunnies. Oh, bunnies. Maybe chocolate bunnies. Oh, yes. <laughs> Parents, when your child is all finished with their drawing, head over to our website at artforkidshub.com slash... Challenge time. Challenge time. And we'll have all the instructions on how you can enter your child's drawing into our next Monday Spotlight. I can't wait to see how cool their Easter surprises look. Yes. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.